Before we dive into actually coding a while loop and working with convergence, I want to talk about our context a little bit. So for today's example, I'm going to be talking about calculating an approximation of pi. Before I show you the formula, which might look a little overwhelming at first, I want to show you the graphs. So this is the result of approximating a value of pi. So if we look here on this top one, um, we see values ranging from 2.6 to 4 is where my graph is looking, and we see pi kind of in the middle of that. And if we look at what's happening here, I have this line going between higher and lower values. So I'm starting at an approximation of four, going down to 2.6, and then I'm going to 3.4 and a little bit closer. Every time I make a change, I'm getting closer and closer to the actual value of pi. And if you look at the changes that are happening, the first change is much larger than the changes that are happening later on in the iterations. So again, I'm converging upon a value. And then if you look at this second graph, this is another viewpoint of it. So this is thinking about how far I am away from the actual value that I want to reach. So initially I'm almost an account of one away from the value of pi. And by the end down here, I'm actually within less than 0.05 of the actual value of pi after going through 20 so iterations. So here I see myself getting closer to the actual value of pi. So it's never actually going to reach zero. So my approximate is never going to be equal to the actual, but I will get very, very close to that. And that's an idea of convergence here. And again, this is just the context that we'll be using for the example code. This here is the problem that we're going to be going through, the approximation of pi using this formula. And we're going to be coding that in MATLAB today. And if you read the actual problem, you'll see I've already identified my outputs and my input. I have my input in red. So everything is going to be based on a user input for tolerance. My user will tell me what they need to pi to be within their approximate. And then I'm going to do the calculations to output how many different iterations did I have to do in order to get within that tolerance and how accurate is my approximate of pi compared to the actual value of pi. And then I'm going to provide them the actual approximate. Sometimes before you start coding, it's a really helpful to do some calculations on paper or even a flow chart. So this is an example of a flowchart here for the particular problem that we're going through. And this would look like the first iteration through that loop. And then the second iteration through the loop, the third iteration would be sufficient to meet this example of a user input tolerance of 0.4. And then it would kick out and that would be the end of the code and I would output the information requested. So again, this is just a sample run before we get into coding it so you can visualize what it is we're doing. There are going to be a lot of components with implementing this equation into MATLAB. So to get started, I've already done the user input here. I've already error checked this user input. You can look at the code later for more information on that and checking it out. And I've already input the formula here. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and run my code and see that this does work. So I have my user input that works. Remember, nothing is showing up in the command window because I suppressed everything. So I have to look over here at my workspace. So in my workspace, I do see that my first value for pi approx is four. I know because I've already done this formula on paper that that is the correct first value. So if n were to equal one and I were only to do one iteration, my value of pi approx would be four. So then I wanna go ahead and do my second iteration. Now I'm going to have to do an example of a running total or recursion. So k starts at 1, and then k increases by 1. Then pi approx is going to equal its previous self plus the next term. So I'm going to recalculate for the next term the next value for k and add it to the previous version. So if I go ahead and run this, I will unsuppress this so we can see it in the command window. We run our code. And we see the first value is 4. The second one is 2.6667. 
which we know is correct. And again, we saw that in the first initial graph that those are the actual values. So I know that I've typed my formula in right. That is the first thing I'd wanna check. Anytime I'm working with a complex equation, I wanna make sure that I actually type it in correctly before I go through the whole trouble of doing all these while loops. So the next thing I wanna do is I actually wanna put all of this in a while loop. So instead of only doing this once and then the second iteration with the addition, that whole part is gonna be iterating through multiple times. I'm gonna continuously loop that. I don't wanna continuously loop this part because otherwise I'd be initializing it and resetting it every time through the loop. That only happens once. So while loop here, and my while loop's going to stop here. So if we reflect again on our condition, our condition has to be based on tolerance. And we're looking at the tolerance compared to the um, accuracy of our approximate. So I need two different variables here. So I already have my tolerance defined by my user. I don't have an accuracy yet. So my accuracy has to do with my difference between my approximate value and the actual value of pi. So I'm going to use pi that's in MATLAB. Notice I called this pi of prox, not pi, because remember pi is a function in MATLAB that stores the actual value of, well, an estimated value of pi, but much more accurate than my estimate will be. And that's what I'm going to be comparing. So if I would have made this pi, I wouldn't have that value of pi from inside MATLAB to use. So pi of prox, my estimate, and pi. So here it can be a little bit tricky. I have to think about what's my condition. Remember, if this statement is true, it will enter the while loop and it will start continue, start the iterations and continue those as long as that statement remains true. So as long as my tolerance, again, is gonna be compared to my accuracy. So as long as I have to think about greater than or less than, as long as my tolerance is less than my accuracy, I have a problem. So as long as the tolerance that I'm setting is, so if my tolerance is here and my accuracy is outside of that tolerance, that's bad. I want my accuracy inside that tolerance. So as long as my tolerance is less than my accuracy, meaning my accuracy is not within the tolerance, I want to enter the while loop and then remain in that while loop as long as that's true. So I do have tolerance as a initialized value. I have accuracy as an initialized value and I have them as a condition. Remember, it is extremely important that we always update something within our while loop. So in this case, accuracy is what's going to be changing. So my tolerance for my user isn't changing, that's staying the same. The accuracy is what's changing. So as my accuracy changes, it'll keep comparing to that initial tolerance. And then I'm looking to see when that accuracy is within. And then I kick out of the while loop and my convergence is done. I've reached my point that I'm going for. I can leave this unsuppressed. I will go ahead and leave this unsuppressed. But this is just going to be a lot of information flying through real quick in the command window. I'm going to set a small tolerance. So let's do that 0.4 like that flowchart. And we see pi approx is four. So the first time my estimate is four, next time is 2.667, and then is 3.4667. In between those are my accuracy. So see my accuracy is getting closer and closer. I am more and more accurate. So my code is working and I have my example of conversion. So then these would be those three outputs that I discussed and I could use fprintf to display them in a better way. But we'll go ahead and run it just so you can see I have everything else suppressed. 0.0001. And it tells me my accuracy. So my accuracy is within my tolerance. My pi approx is very close and, and it's telling me it took this many iterations. So this is again, an example of convergence and another big reason we would use a while loop.